Welcome, my Virgo loves. If this is your first time here, I am Nick, baby. I am your reader. This is the Phoenix Tarot Tribe. I appreciate you being here. If this video found you, there may be something in it for you. What are we channeling today? What do we need to release during this full moon? So, for those of you that are new, I do pray and sage off camera. Very much um, for my own protection, but I pray for all of us as well. Let's see. What is your spirit animal energy at this time? What energy are you in? Ooh, y'all. Moose. Okay. Moose is your spirit animal energy for this reading. I will leave it down in the description. Um, someone may like a moose. Something may have to do with the number 60, 6, or 0. You know, is this going to be different for everybody? But... You may be seeing this number. Spirit may be showing you things. There may be synchronicities that have to go. Something may happen in an hour, y'all. Something might come through for you in 60 minutes. All right. <clears throat> Spirit, guides, and ancestors, show me what I need to know for my Virgo loves. As we make decisions for our highest good. Our higher selves. Okay. I flipped out and flipped right back in. Cloudy judgment, y'all. We got cloudy judgment. Illusions, unbalanced, distorted. Okay. So, this is the overall energy. And it's probably being caused by pain. Apprehensive afraid and cautious okay you cannot be stirred don't be stirred i'm hearing um bone crusher baby i ain't never scared even if you are oh this might be for us i have so much desire for you so someone may be scared to love i don't know i don't even know but that wanted to pop out so we're gonna leave it out sometimes things just be for us and we just got to go with it. You are right. I look down and I see you are right. So whatever you're feeling, you are right about it. Your judgment may not actually be all that cloudy. It may be someone around you. Oop. I think so, yes. <laughs> okay, so whatever it is. Having so much desire, it is, yes, it's time to ground yourself, though. Okay, my loves? It is about being grounded at this time. Ooh, crack the deck on the tower. And the four of wands, okay, something might be over. Something might be over. Who else had the tower? Was it Leo might have had the tower? I don't know, y'all. They'll all be up. Go ahead and watch them. Because there's, there's messages in all of them. But sometimes your other placements may come through stronger than your sun sign. I know I used to always watch this for my sun sign. But as I began to um, high priestess and the ten of cups... As I began to learn a little more about tarot and watch tarot over the last um, so many years, I began to watch my other placements. And some of them resonate with me very highly. Spirit, give me one. Well, there's two because that one flipped as well. We got the Five of Cups and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay. So, and what is this? The Eight of Wands. So something may be coming at fast. There may be communication coming towards you, or you may be wanting to communicate 
with someone, you may spontaneously decide to send somebody a message or you may spontaneously receive a message from somebody. I don't know, y'all. It's going to be different for everybody. Just put them in the places where they go and we will definitely figure this out together. Always sending love and light. That's why I'm quiet. I'm sorry. Let me take a second. In the States, the weather doesn't know what it wants to do. So my allergies are very tricky at this time. Spirit guides and ancestors. That's what we need to know for judgment. Oh, shit. That almost went far. <clears throat> five of Cups. We got the Five of Cups out here twice. Somebody is um in a disappointed energy unbalanced and distorted okay we got the page of pentacles did someone miss an opportunity there it any more with an empress somebody missed the opportunity with an empress huh what else That they see winning, this could have been the person you were supposed to be with. Is that what we're getting here, Virgo? Give me one more spirit. Uh -huh -huh. With the Knight of Wands. Okay. All right, y'all. Let's talk about it. So, mm -mm. <laughs> all right. Somebody is definitely. Wanting to go toward this empress is what I'm saying. They may have thought that they lost the opportunity, but let's talk about it. <sighs> Somebody's coming in with a plan of action, and they may come in fast. I just told y'all something may happen fast with the five of, with the eight of wands. We got the six of wands, and we got the emperor. Ooh, shoot, son. Okay. All right, let's talk about it. Spirit, tell me about I have so much desire for you, and I think so, yes. Oh, somebody coming in to tell somebody. Virgo, they come in to tell you. Okay, there's both of them slid out. I'm taking both. Oh, somebody's stuck in the head, though, with the nine of swords. Somebody is very much so stuck in their head. They are obsessing about telling you how they really feel oh my goodness it's okay though it's okay i don't feel like this devil energy is necessarily the devil it could be capricorn energy who knows libra taurus energy out here as well spirit tell me about the dinosaurs to the devil oh shit so wait a minute all right well you got the four of wands it basically was in reverse y'all i'm gonna take it in reverse you know there's lack of support and somebody feels like you don't want them back. Mm. This could even be someone leaving a commitment. Spirit, give me more on these four wands, please. We got the queen of wands. Probably should show y'all. Yes. We got the queen of wands. And, you know, uh, who's in this Queen of Wands energy spirit? Tell me about this Queen of Wands to this Four of Wands. Oh, we got the Lovers and the Queen of Swords. All right, but you see, the Lovers flew way over here on Cloudy Judgment. So somebody did not know which lever to choose is what I am gathering from that. And we got the Queen of Swords. This person sees you as a queen of wands. They didn't know which lever to choose. This person may have been in a commitment with someone else. And that is okay because we all grow. That's what I got. I ain't going to judge because I sin differently. Now, my loves. The queen of swords is analytical. But I remind you all. Yes, she has her sword up. 
but she has her hand open to receive. And I feel like somebody is, is willing to receive the truth, whatever that is for you in your situation. But you are still in the Queen of Wands energy as well. You're optimistic about whatever this is that needs to be communicated to you. But whoever that needs to communicate with you is stuck in your head. They are obsessing about how you're going to take whatever they need to say to you. And again, it's going to be different for everybody. Y'all, I'm going to take them all. Even though I don't always like to take them like this. We got the Three of Pentacles. We got the Hangman and the Seven of Pentacles. Seven and three is ten. Somebody was in a commitment somewhere else. Ten of Pentacles. But... They now have a changed perspective with the hangman. They see things differently. And that's over here with this five of cups again. So this person is in major, major regret about not making the correct choice is what they feel. So this is kind of giving me, you know, with this knight of wands, somebody might have been out here playing around, kept their options open and ended up in a connection that may have. Why am I hearing only been for six? But somebody got held up, <laughs> tangled up, hung up. Spirit, give me more on the Seven of Pentacles. Y'all, why why y'all doing me like this? Why y'all doing me like this? Because it ain't it ain't even got to go down like this. Oh, now somebody hanging on to them. And they trying to find balance in this situation. They trying to come towards you. But somebody hanging on to them. I'm not going to lie. Y'all know one thing Nick is not going to do. I'm not going to lie to you, baby. I'm going to tell you the truth as I see it. Somebody's hanging on to them, but mm, well, of fortune, your luck is, is definitely there. This is definitely, it was a cycle. Like I said, somebody was there because of sex. That's all I got from this. I ain't seen no love out here. Ain't no water out here, baby. Ain't no water out here. What the fuck? <laughs> like on me. I don't see no water. Ain't no cups out here. This was just a sexual connection. Something to do. Oh, I hear surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before becoming new, before something new can enter our lives. Let go and it will all work out. Y'all let this person go and it got them feeling some type of way. And it's okay. We are, we all are human. We grow. And as we grow, things change. And it should, you know, if you're not growing, you're dead. I've said it a thousand times. I'll continue to say it. This life is about growth. We learn lessons. We grow spiritually, emotionally, and physically. But they over there stuck. They feel like, you know, they're in pain. They're afraid because somebody hanging on to them. And they feel unbalanced and distorted. Spirit, can I get a timing card for my Virgo loves, please? Bring love into the situation and surrender to the divine. So, no matter what happens between you and this energy, because I do kind of feel like this is romantic. This could be family as well. I don't know. But I feel like forgive them for yourself. Bring love into the situation. Be kind of, why do I hear nurturing? I'm feeling Queen of Cups energy. Yeah, but surrender to, you may have already surrendered it to the divine, but continue to do what you need to do for you. You'll see what needs to happen. Oh, so we got surrender out here twice. So yeah, surrender Virgo, this needs to be surrendered to the divine. Full moon, that's right now. Yeah. All right, something may have happened during the new moon in Aquarius, which was just a couple weeks back. Y'all. My allergies are kicking my butt. I'm so sorry. Okay. So something could have happened then. You know, this person may have came to the realization that you're the person they should have chosen uh, for whatever reasons. But they know now. Spirit, can we get a closing message for my um, Virgo loves, please? And this moose energy. I love it. Friendship and stargazing. You may have to just be friends with this person because you don't see them the same. And that's okay. Friendship. Fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you 
on your journey to fulfill your dreams. Yeah, this person may need a friend right now. 1444 on the timer. Stargazing. When you gaze at the stars, you give yourself very focused. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation. So you may get things in your dreams is what I got out of that. It, something could be happening during the full moon as well right now. My loves, my Virgo loves. This has been a beautiful reading. Regardless of what decision somebody made, you chose you. And I'm always about that. If you need anything from me, it is down in the description box. I wish you health, wealth, prosperity, and abundance. But above all things, I wish you love. So until next time, I love you all.